Space is always part of an artwork, sometimes in multiple ways. No art form demonstrates this more than site-specific work. Site-specific art is designed exclusively for one particular space. For this type of art, it's impossible to isolate the work from its surrounding environment. So for many artists then, space and how to transform it is the artwork. Space is one of the seven elements of art, along with line, shape, form, texture, value, and color. Space is the area in which an artwork is organized. It encompasses the area within a work of art and can also include the area immediately outside of and around a work of art. In paintings, drawings, and other two-dimensional work, the space of an artwork is usually contained within the borders of the paper or canvas it's made on. The main objects in a work of art take up positive space. The area around them then is called negative space. Sometimes artists intentionally try to blur the boundaries between positive and negative space. In sculpture and other three-dimensional arts, positive space is the area the objects actually occupy, and negative space is all the other areas between and around the objects. Many two-dimensional works create the illusion of three-dimensional space by using some very specific techniques. Notice how painter Kahinde Wiley overlaps some of the background pattern onto the front of people in these portraits. This overlapping gives a sense of three-dimensional space. Landscape painter Wang Hui placed objects in different parts of the canvas to imply three-dimensional space. Notice how figures towards the top of the paintings seem to be moving further back in space, even though they are roughly the same size. Some artists do use relative size to give their work the illusion of real space. The smaller human figures in these paintings by Ben Shan seem to be more distant and further away from the larger ones. Roy de Carava often contrasted sharply focused figures with blurry soft backgrounds in his photographs. Such a contrast in detail gives the sense of lush, real depth. Varying hues and values will also give two-dimensional works the illusion of real space. See how painter Georgia O'Keeffe uses a variety of red values and imbues her work with a feeling of true depth? Painter Alex Roulette uses classic single and two-point perspective in his work to create the impression of deep, expansive space. Notice too how objects get smaller in order to seem more distant from each other. Some other ways to describe how artists use space are dense, open, cluttered, symmetrical, shallow, flat. How would you describe the way artists approach space in these works? What qualities do you see? How artists use space is one way they are able to create a unique style and reinforce the messages they hope to communicate. The next time you're looking at a painting, photograph, or sculpture, try to notice how the artist is using space in their work. And when you're making your own artwork, try to develop an approach to space that resonates with other ideas you're trying to communicate. That way your messages will surely travel far and wide.